Greetings, Earthly. Welcome to Planet Alien here on YouTube. Hello, weird little alien. Hello, 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 hello. Now, um, boy, do I got a fucking story time for you. This is going to be a very short story time, let me just say that. But, or maybe not. Fuck, it's me. What am I saying? I don't know. We'll say. But anyways, this story time involves Easter Day involves little kids, involves grown-ass adults, involves grown-ass adults drunk, involves grown-ass adults, adults drunk and driving, involves grown-ass adults drunk driving and threatening me with, I'm a police officer. Yeah, that's what we're about to get into. Oh, and I think just a touch of race, you know, you know, because the bitch seemed a little racist, but hey, I'm not here to say she's racist or not. You know, that's something that she puts out into the world, but what she was putting out in front of me, in front of these kids, in front of my two friends, was, she's a racist bitch, but also, why are you, mm, okay, you know what, we're gonna get into it. Let's put the race aside, because, like, I, I don't know for sure she's racist, but the way she was addressing the person in this situation, only this person, and the way she was coming towards this person, and just the tone of voice in it all, and everything, it just, that's all I just want to say. But, okay, so let's get into the story. So, I'm currently up at college, but I live about, like, three and a half hours away. So, I was obviously not going to go home for Easter, and I really didn't care, honestly, because, like, it's Easter. It's not a big deal to me. Like, I don't need to celebrate it. So, I was going to stay at the college, but my roommate slash my best friend, Maddie, was going home for the weekend, and she wanted me to come with her, and that involved having thanks or Thanksgiving, involved having Easter dinner with her family on Sunday, and... I was a little, you know, like, uh, oh, maybe I'll stay here. And she was like, no, you're coming. And I was like, oh, fine. You know, like, I was a little hesitant because, you know, I don't know. Being around people I don't really know that well. I'm just very socially anxious. I don't know what to do. I'm just standing there like, hey, uh -uh, what's going on? You know, like, I don't know what to do. But actually, it was a fucking ton of fun, actually. Her family's really cool. But, okay. So, we're, it's Sunday. We're at Easter dinner, right? Well, we decide that me... Maddie, I'm going to change names here because the other three, um, I'm sure the one wouldn't mind, but the other two are small, so I'm not going to conclude their real names. So it's going to be me, Maddie, um, Betty, Veronica, Cheryl. Oh, wait, no. Okay, that was a boy. Wait, Betty, Veronica, Archie. Let's just do that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it's the only way I'll remember all the names. Betty, Archie, and Veronica. But okay, so it was me, Maddie, Betty, Archie, and Veronica. So, and now... Uh, Veronica and Archie are brother and sister, and they're two small kids. One's like, I don't know, like six, seven, one's 12, 13. Um, so they're young kids. And then we have Betty, who is 18, and then we have me and Maddie, who are obviously older, you know. And so we decide, all us three decide to take the two little kids, you know, to the park. So me, Maddie, Betty are walking with little Archie and little Veronica. And we go to the park, you know, they want to do their chalk and they want to do all that fun stuff. So they're doing their thing. I'm kind of over on the side smoking a cigarette because like, obviously I don't want to be around kids smoking a cigarette because I just don't. So I'm over there smoking a cigarette and Maddie's there with the two little kids. And then there's also Betty, you know, right there. And so I'm standing there, like I said. Well, I noticed, before I even light my cigarette, mind you, I noticed this car coming by us, and it's going a little slow, and I noticed her point at us, and I was thinking, oh, she must see the cigarette and be like, um, you're around kids, don't be smoking, but I was like, I don't have it lit yet, because obviously I'm not gonna smoke in front of kids, but it's like, I didn't have it lit yet, and I had it on the side, so I was like, surely she doesn't see it, but that has to be why she's pointing at us, like, it's, what else, like, she was pointing directly at us, but I was right next to Maddie, so I guess, to me, it looked like she was pointing at me, but it was more so Maddie, because at this time that she came by, uh, Maddie was standing there, and mind you, Archie and Veronica are her cousins. These are her cousins, Archie and Veronica. They're, they're not my cousins. They're her cousins. Her and Betty, her and Betty's cousins, because Maddie and Betty are God, this is so complicated. Maddie and Betty are sisters, and their cousins are Archie and Veronica. So, now, I also need to put this in here that Maddie and Betty are biracial. So, they are darker compared to their cousins, who are white. 
just so you put that in perspective, just so you know, because that is a part of it too. And you'll see why. And as you know, I'm white. Well, so this lady points and I'm like, okay, it has to do with that, you know, but at this time, um, Maddie and her cousin Veronica, you know, we're, we're going out a little bit and, uh, Veronica, now this little girl, I mean, Veronica grabs her by the jacket, but they're not fighting. This is, they're joking. She's like, oh, you're doing what I say, you know, grab her by the jacket. And it, I mean, I don't, it's a little kid, you know, grabbing a bigger kid's jacket. I don't think that's abuse, but okay. Um, so I, that also was happening when they pointed, but I wasn't really paying attention to it because I was thinking, oh, I'm in a park with a cigarette. That's why they're pointing at me. No. So they go. Now they were gone for a good minute. So I don't know what the fuck they were doing. What they were, were, were they thinking, Hey, let's be dumb, drunk idiots and do something stupid or in our heads, it's the right thing. I don't know what the fuck this person was thinking. This girl, Oh, I wish she would have got out of the car. I know violence doesn't solve things, but in this case, I would have loved to just punch her in the face. Like, Ooh, girl, roll up that window and flip me off when we're fucking mm -hmm, girl. Okay. So now this is a nice family day, you know, now mind you where we're at, we're in, in a very white suburbs and I say that because you know my friend said that and she, so I should include it as well because it is also very white it is I will say that and it's a very upscale neighborhood you know like with kids like there's a ton of kids around so like to do this with kids around is just boggling my mind so they after like fucking five minutes somehow come back and I see them stopping in front of us and I'm like I'm thinking, okay, they're going to ask us, like, maybe a question or directions. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Like, I thought they were just going to ask us something. And then the lady, oh, God, I, I, because this, there is one part I'm going to tell you this story that really gets me. Because if she really is this person, oh, shit. So, okay. So this lady comes back. Now, mind you, there's a lady, there's a guy, and then there's two guys in the back. I was really focused on the lady, but I did see two guys in the back, especially the one guy, because he's going to come into play as well. So this lady pulls up, you know, and we're all thinking, okay, maybe they have a question. Maybe they need directions. I don't know. Cause I just seen them pass us. No one else did, but I did, you know, because I see them pointed at us because I was like, Oh, she probably takes a cigarette. So she rolls down the window and she's like, what's going on here? And we're like, what? And she's like, are you, are you hitting a kid? Like, is, are you abusing someone? Like what's going on here? And she's like, wait, what, what are you even talking about? And she's like, I saw hands on some little kid. Like what's go like fucking just being stupid and belligerent and like yelling. And she's like saying that th she saw one of us put hands on the kid. And now she's really getting agitated and she's saying, fuck you. And so my cousin is like, you're really going to fucking curse in front of all, in front of these two little kids. Are you really going to do that? And mind you, these two little kids, Archie is scared shitless and Veronica is just like, can you please stop? And this lady's still going, still going. So she's still going. And so, of course, Maddie's taking a step forward, like, okay, if this girl's going to do something, you know, I'm ready. And so she decides to start rolling up her window at that point. But it's like, she's yelling at us saying, oh, I saw you hit the kid. And then, she, and Maddie's telling her, she's like, this is, these are my cousins. Like, we're family. And she's like, really? Are you? really like she does not believe that they're family and she is just going on about i saw someone put hands you better watch yourself and so finally at this point when she starts cursing for the kids i'm like all right this is it that's it i'm standing over on the side and i'm like you know what this is it and i was like why don't you fucking mind your i didn't say funny i was like mind your own fucking business like that's what i was like mind your own business and she's rolling up the window at this point and i'm like mind your own business and as she's rolling up the window she continues rolling it up and then she's flipping me off saying fuck you and i'm like fuck you you fucking bitch and i shouldn't be cursing in front of kids but like this girl was getting me going because she was so stupid and you'll see why she was so stupid now this is what gets me so i'm like this girl's like flipping me off saying fuck you after i said mind your business because this isn't your business no one's getting hit even the little kids are telling you to please stop and you're still yelling like in front of kids dude it's easter come on so 
after I say mind your business and she flips me off, says fuck you, and I'm like fuck you, you bitch, like what the fuck, like and I'm wait, I'm prepared for her to get out. Like I, I knew as soon as I said mind your business that there's a chance she's gonna get out of the car, and I'm ready for that. Honestly, I am. And instead, this is what she does. She rolls down the window and she's like fuck you, I'm a fucking police officer, and I was like what the fuck does that matter? I was like first of all you're off duty, you can't do shit to me, and if you did, you aren't protected by your fucking badge. And she just fuck. Now that's when she's like rolling back up the window. She don't want to fucking hear it. Saying she, she literally said, "I'm a fucking police officer." Like that's supposed to scare me. Oh, I did not get scared, honey. I'm not scared one bit. And what gets me furthermore is as she was driving off. Mind you, everyone's just in the car laughing. It's so funny while this little drunk bitch being fucking stupid. Now, mind you, the. I said there's two guys in the back and one came into play and this is how he came into play after she said I'm a police officer to me like threatening me I'm a police officer like I don't know like I was supposed to be scared you're off duty first of all like what the fuck are you gonna do and second if you really are a cop this next thing oh no 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 honey I need to find you if you really are a cop because this is gonna get you destroyed so, the guy in the back, as she's about to drive away, he's like, <laughs> they're all laughing and stuff, and he's like, don't mind us, we're drunk. Okay. So, not only are you grown-ass fucking adults driving on Easter Sunday in a neighborhood filled with kids and family together on Easter, but you're telling me you're also a cop and you're also the one driving said car while drunk with a ton of other drunk kids in the car with you. Uh, now, maybe she wasn't a police officer. She probably just said that to try and scare me because honestly, if you would have heard the way she said it and stuff, she tried to say it as if like it was a threat to me. Like I would shut up if I heard that she was a police officer. I did not. And she didn't do shit because you can't do shit anyways. Like you're off duty. What are you going to do? Not to mention you're drunk. But anyways, when I heard I'm a police officer, oh, that still gets me so bad because when she said it, like she was trying to threaten me. Like, really? You're going to try and threaten me by saying I'm a police officer. Oh my, and then if that's not true, what the fuck do you think goes on in the world? Oh, if I say I'm a police officer and I'm white, that means you back the fuck up, bitch. Like, no, that's not how it fucking works. Oh, this girl gets me so fucking pissed off. I swear to God, I was shaking because I was so angry. I just, ooh, I wanted to go, ah, this, she's so lucky she drove away. But, yeah, so she says, I'm a police officer, and then, you know, drives away, you know, like a little bitch. And then the guy in the back literally says, oh, don't mind us, we're drunk. I'm sorry, you can't say, you can't have the driver of your car who's drunk say, I'm a police officer, and then you say, oh, don't mind us, we're drunk. First off, you shouldn't be driving a fucking car when you all are drunk on roads that aren't big enough for you to be stupid and driving drunk with kids and family all around. Mind you, in this moment, I'm so in the heat of this moment, I don't think to take out my video. Oh my god, I wish I would have recorded her saying I'm a police officer and then him saying, don't mind us, we're drunk. Ooh, I wish I would have got that. I wish it. Ooh, because like, I wish I would have got her license plate or something. But in that moment, me and Natty were like, so fucking into it like this bitch was really coming at us especially maddie like that's what i mean like she was coming at maddie hard because of course you see these two dark-skinned people with two little kids that are really white and of course whenever she's like we're family these are my cousins and the girl's like mm, really are you really like yeah i'm not gonna lie they're not trying to run away they're not you know held ha hostage they're, these are my cousins did not believe her but well, that was not really that short, 13 minutes, but I had to tell this story because uh, I know, it. I know like some of you are thinking, oh, you should have got video or you should have got her license plate or you should have called the cops. But honestly, in that moment, I was so heated. I was not even thinking about recording it or it, I didn't think she was going to say I'm a police officer to me as a threat. I really didn't think that was what was going to be said. I thought she was just going to be like a normal person and be like, fuck you, bitch. What the fuck are you going to do? You know? But instead, she comes at me with, fuck you, bitch. I'm a fucking police officer. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck that matter? But I know I should. There's. Oh God, I wish I would have recorded it. I really do. Not only just for me to have and for the world to have, but also for this lady to get off. 
the streets. Because if she's doing this, then yeah, she needs to be held accountable. I mean, you're all drunk in the car. Dude, there was like four of these people in the car plastered. And one of them is driving. Oh my God, down a road that is filled with kids and family. Because hello, this is the suburbs. This is a neighborhood. This is not the fucking highway. This is not a normal road to go to fucking McDonald's, bitch. Like, why are you even in here? Where are you even going? Like, literally. <sighs> but yeah, I am still so fucking angry because just hearing her say as a threat, I'm a police officer. And then having the guy say, Oh, don't mind us. We're just drunk. Mm. <sighs> because if you really are a police officer, this is not fucking okay. First off, threatening me with I'm a police officer is not fucking okay. Secondly, driving around drunk is not okay to begin with. Uh, but especially when you're a fucking police officer, like you say, who's supposed, to, who's supposed to uphold the fucking law. Like, what the... Oh my god, this girl got me so irate, dude. Like, ooh, I was going in. I lost it. Like, I didn't lose it. Like, I was keeping my calm, but, like, I was going in. Because this bitch is going to come at me, and I'm not going to go at her. Because I knew once I said, mind your business, there was a chance she might get out of the car. So I knew once I said it, there was a chance. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there like, oh, oh god, I hope she doesn't get out of the car. I was like, okay, if she does it, she does it, you know? Because, like, this is ridiculous move along like what are you even doing you're cursing in front of kids you're drunk you're belligerent you have other kids in the car laughing and shit like oh my god this person got me so bad i don't know if she really is a police officer she could have just said it because she's fucking stupid and thought that would like make me feel threatened and shut up or because i don't or maybe she is a police officer i don't really know i mean for all we know she couldn't be a police officer but I don't give a fucking damn whether she is a police officer or not. You do not use I'm a police officer as a fucking threat in this situation. And if you were so worried about these kids, why are you cursing and trying to start a fight with their older cousin? Mind you, and you have the little boy, Archie, scared shitless, hiding behind his other cousin, Betty. And then you have Veronica being, can you please stop? I mean, and you're still going on, but yet you care about these kids. You saw one of us hitting them. Not one of us. It was directed at actually Maddie. She saw Maddie. It was like, that's the whole time. She looked just at her, like just at her, like did not believe one word coming out of this girl's mouth. But oh my God. I, I just, I'm, oh God, this gets me so bad because like, I know I'm white, and I know I have white privilege, so I just imagine if I would have been someone of color in this situation, like, I just imagine, like, what they would have felt like her saying, I'm a police officer, what might they have felt like, God, that gets me so bad, because, like, ooh, she said it to me, and it makes me think of all those unarmed black kids, and all those unarmed black men that got shot or got killed for no reason from police officers. Like, that's what it made me think of when she said that. And I'm like, no, that's not okay. You don't use I'm a police officer as a fucking threat. I don't care if you're not one. You still don't use it as a threat. Oh, I, I just can't. I can't. I'm sorry. That it really fucking got me. Like her saying that and then him saying, oh, don't mind us. We're drunk. Those are two things you do not fucking put together. Oh my God. I'm so irate. Yeah. Um, I'm so irate. Like, I, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I don't know what I would do. Like, I don't, I don't know what this, fuck. I don't even, I was so in the moment, like, I wish I could do something, but, like, I don't even fucking know what I could do, because, like, I don't have her license plate, I don't have a video with a car, you know, I don't, she had long fucking brown hair, and she was skinny, and she was wearing sunglasses, and she was drunk, obviously, and fucking cursing, but, like, ugh, it just gets me so irate, and I'm still thinking about it, even though I know it just happened yesterday, but, like, oh my god, I just can't, I can't believe she said that to to not even just me, just saying it, period. And then to have him say, don't mind us, we're drunk. Uh, so you're a police officer driving, and these kids in the car with you are drunk, just like you, but we shouldn't mind you, right? We should just laugh because this is all funny. <laughs> no. When a little kid's scared and wants to go back to his mom, it's not fucking funny. When another little girl's telling you to stop because she doesn't like all the yelling, it's not fucking funny, okay? And I will mind. 
So that was my story time. That was my nice Easter. It was a great Easter, actually. But that's a nice little moment that happened in front of two little kids that should not have happened in upstate New York. Let me just say that. I won't say exactly where, but upstate New York. So yeah, that is my story time I wanted to share with you guys because like me, you are probably outraged. Like if you just would have been in that moment, you would have really got the full effect because I can't do it justice. But Oh, God, you know, I am not exaggerating. I am not lying. I have no reason to, honestly. What the fuck? What am I going to lie about, really? I have no reason to. But, like, uh, and you can think that if you want. I, I mean, it, to each his own. I mean, I think that sometimes at people's story times, I'm like, oh, are they telling the truth? Or, mm, maybe not, you know? But I am telling the truth. I am really fucking upset about it, and I just wanted to get it off my chest. Honestly, that's the whole point. I wanted to get it off my chest. I have a YouTube channel. Let me do it there. And, you know, maybe there's been similar situations. Maybe, I don't know, this will get people talking. I don't fucking know. I just need to get this off my chest because this is something I cannot stop thinking about. I will not stand for. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. When she, mm -mm -mm -mm. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. I hope you all had a great Easter filled with no drama. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed and I guess I'm going to go. So 